So in the series of learning C programming, we are almost done with every concept of file handling in C. Right. Now we'll discuss two to three or five or six programs on file handling. First of all, we'll discuss some simple program, two to three programs. Then we'll see some complicated programs. Or if you want me to upload any video on some specific program, then you can tell me in comment box. I'll try to upload that video also. So in this video, we'll see how to count number of lines in a file. We are given a file, and you're supposed to count how many lines are there in that file. We'll see the logic here. Then I'll show you practical also. Right on my laptop. Now before that, I just want to tell you one thing. As we know, GATE 2022 exam is going on. So an academy is conducting some sessions on GATE 2022 exam analysis, or you can say exam solution discussion. These are live sessions and these are conducted by the NACADB's top educators right after the examination. And you can enroll for these sessions for free. So here you will get solution of all the questions so you can easily you know predict how how many questions you got right and about your about your rank and score everything more thing if you are going to start preparation for gate 2023 and 2024 exam then an academy has started some batches for these aspirants also in these batches their top educators will be covering all the subjects of cs and it and in this course you will get preparation strategy tips and tricks practice questions numericals along with detailed explanation of all the concepts Plus separate doubt clearing session would also be conducted so you can get your doubt cleared in those sessions. But these are paid subscriptions, so, but you can use my code JKL10 to get 10% discount on your paid subscriptions. And an academy is also going to conduct a combat on 6th of February at 11 a.m. It is a live test and you can take this test for free. So here you will get a chance to compete with thousands of learners from all over India and you stand a chance to win up to 100% scholarship plus some exciting prizes as well. And after every combat, you will get detailed video solutions by their experts. So you can identify your weak areas and you can improve according to that. Plus they are also offering you a super combo offer in which if you buy two years of GATE and ESC subscription, you will get one year extra subscription for free for campus placement and IT jobs. And if you buy one year of GATE and ESC subscription, you will get six months extra subscription free for campus placement and IT jobs. Plus, if you will use my code JKL10, you will get extra 10% off. So the price detail you can see on my screen. So all the relevant links and detail I'll put in the description box of this video. If you are interested, you can go and check out. Now let's see this program. See, suppose I have a file. Now the name of file is abc.txt, right? And in this file, I have suppose this hi, then hello. Then how many lines do we have? Two. So the output should be program. Output of the program should be two. Now suppose I have hi, hello. Then we have a new line operator, but I have nothing in this line, in this line, and after that I have gen. So now here I have one, two, one this line, three, I have nothing in this line, but this is a line, three and four, so it should give four, right? And if I do something like this, like hi, hello, then new line, but nothing in this line, then new line, Jenny, then again new line and cursor is here, then total line are one, two, three, four, five. Right? That should be the output. Or if suppose I have nothing in this and cursor is here, then still we have one line. Right? Nothing is there, but still it is having one line. So it should print one line. So we are supposed to write down such kind of program to, you know, get output of this. Suppose I have hi and hello. So it should give two line and the cursor is here. So how you will write down that program? See, means new line starts if suppose after hi i have pressed and pressed a new line operator like enter that is new line means we are in the next line so as soon as we find a slash n the new line operator means there is a line we are supposed to count that thing right so how many slash n are there you are supposed to count that thing also but here we have only one slash n one slash n after this like one enter then hello and the cursor is here. So slash n is the new line is only one. So if I say that just count new line and those are number of lines. But here slash n is only one. So number of line it should it will print one. But here we have two lines. Right. So how it will print two lines. That also we will see. Right. Now but the logic is I hope you got this. Just count the new line operator and that's it. Right. So how you will count? We will read this line character. We will read this file character by character. The, like first character is H, then I. Next character is new line. As soon as we get a new line, just increase the count by one. You are supposed to 
you know read all the characters till end of file till the character is end of file that's it you're supposed to put this thing in a while loop or for loop or do while loop in which loop you are you know comfortable you can put that loop so same first of all obviously we are going to create a file pointer right and i am writing int count count is equal to 1 not 0 right i'll tell you why after that char ch just to read a character because i'm reading a character so obviously we are going to store that character into a variable right now just open the file f open function abc.txt and in read mode i am opening i am just reading reading the content now, character by character and i am just you know counting the slash n but if fp is equal to is equal to null simply you can print some error while opening this file or cannot open file and exit from this point only right otherwise just put a while loop or for loop or do while loop in which you are interested suppose i am taking while loop why character by character we are going to read so how to read a single character from a file the function is f get c right and whatever you will read the character we are going to store that in ch so ch is equal to f get c and just pass here the file pointer not equal to end of file uf is end of file till then we are going to run this loop right as soon as this character we are going to fetch that is end of file stop right now in this while loop also we are going to count number of lines so the condition is if the character you are fetching is slash n so just put if this ch is equal to is equal to slash n because it is a character so put it in single quote then simply what you have to do just do what count plus plus or count is equal to count plus one we are going to increment the count value that's it right fine and this is close of this while loop also right just simply we are, we are going to close the file f close and what you are supposed to print the count value so simply in printf what you can write percentage d and count or you can say the number of lines are properly you can write number of lines are percentage d and count right and that's it so see what will happen if successfully f open has opened this file then we are out of this if loop means this if statement and this while loop would be executed because we have successfully opened this file so now f get c will fetch h in ch we have now h it is end of file character is end of file no right so means h not equal to end of file obviously it is not equal to end of file means condition is true yes so condition true means we are going to enter into this while loop now see if ch is equal to, is equal to slash n ch is h is it slash n no so we are not going to enter into this loop out of this if block and after that again what again fetch a character next character is i i not equal to end of file yes condition true again enter is it slash n no again we are going to fetch now i after i we have slash n new line operator it is end of file no means true slash n not equal to end of file means condition true we are going to enter into this if ch is equal to is equal to slash n yes it is true so now we are going to enter into this if block and count plus plus so count is one one plus one is equal to two right now again fetch a character now slash n means now in you again h would be fast then e then l l then o and after that this is what end of file so once we reach here the character is end of file yes end of file would be there fine and end of file not equal to end of file no condition is not true so we are not going to enter into this while loop so now exit from this while loop f close and simply print count value now count is equal to 2 so 1 2 it will print 2 now if you will press here also as 
enter or slash n and simply your cursor is here. So how many line it should print? Here not two lines, here we have three lines. Logically we have three lines. But in third line we don't have anything. In VS Code Editor also like if you will open any you know text file then here they will give num the line number like 1, 2, 3. So here they will give three lines. So same after this slash n means count plus plus again so 2 plus 3 it becomes 3. Now in this line also it is what end of file so simply it will print 3 1, 2, 3 that is why I am taking count is equal to 1 not 0. If you have nothing in this file then ch is equal to f get c but at starting only end of file so we are not going to enter into this while loop and simply print count so count value is 1 so it will print 1. If you have nothing in this file but still this one means cursor is here so it would consider it in a line but no there is no character the file is empty but still we have one line so it will print one. So I hope you got the concept of how to you know count number of lines in a file it is very simple. Now suppose if I ask you count number of lines as well as number of characters I guess you can modify this program only you are supposed to you need to add a single line only single line in this program or maybe two line whatever you know variable you will use you are supposed to initialize you are supposed to initialize that variable also, also yeah, right declare that variable also right so you just have to declare a sing, one more variable to count number of character and one line you are supposed to add in this while loop only and you are supposed to print I guess you can modify this this is assignment for you guys. You can send me the code in the comment box or on my Instagram account you can, you can send me a message of that code you know that screenshot of that code. So this you are supposed to do so count the number of lines as well as number of characters in this file or any file how to count right. So let me show you practical of this program. See so this is the program we have right we have taken a variable n or you can say count and we have opened the file abc.txt in r mode abc.txt we have hi hello right so the c 1 and 2 two lines are there so it should print 2 the output should be 2 right but the cursor here is after o here is the cursor only right so now see I am just using a while loop while a variable I am taking c in c I am just reading a single character f get c f p not equal to end of file till then this loop will be run and in loop I am writing if c is equal to is equal to slash n just do n is equal to n plus 1 or count plus plus whatever variable you will take just do plus 1 then close the file and simply print n value that is it. So it should give 2 the output should be 2 let me just run this and show you what output you are getting. See the lines are 2 but suppose I am going to update this just I am adding a slash n see the number is 1 2 3 means we, here we have 3 line but in third line we do not have anything but the output should be obviously line is 3 lines are 3. So what it will print now let me just run this again and show you what output you will get see lines are 3 right if I updated something like this after hello one more after high one more space so total line, lines are 1 2 3 4 5 right. So now let me just run this again and show you what output you are getting see lines are 5 fine and if you do not have anything like in this file we have nothing but still the line is we have one line but characters or you can see the file is empty but one line is still there. So let me just run this again and show you the output see lines are 1 only right see the line number is also in VS code editor if you open the text file then it is also give you the line number so 1. I hope now you got this how to print number of lines if you want to you know uh, find out number of character also just add or see uh, if you will use this for loop then you can write down something like this rather than while loop if you are using for loop initialization c is equal to f get c means one character I am reading the condition is that character is not equal to end of file and what is the increment and decrement thing obviously we are not doing like c plus 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 or c minus minus we are getting character by character 
So, same C is equal to F gets C F P. We are we will get the next character that is it right. So, that is the uh, the increment or decrement thing C is equal to F gets C F P and same if loop you can if statement you can write down this for loop and that is it or you can do while loop or you can write down do while loop also right. Now, you are supposed to update this thing and you are supposed to write down a program to count number of lines as well as number of characters in a file right. If you are finding any difficulty in writing that program you can tell me in comment box I will upload a separate video on that thing right. Now, that is it for this video. So, now I will see you in the next video with a new program till then take care bye bye.